Hey guys, my new recipe is gonna be some Sicilian traditional cookies. They're called Toto. There are two flavors of Toto, chocolate or lemon Toto. And in this recipe, we're just gonna make the chocolate version, which is my absolute favorite type. These cookies are very traditional during November 2nd in Italy, which is a national holiday, and it's called Giorno dei Morti, which translates to the day of the death. So basically kids are told like whoever like died in their family, like their sweet grandma or grandpa or whoever is sending them a gift during that special day. And so they receive a gift and also these cookies are a typical dessert during that time of year. Another fact about these cookies is that traditionally they were made by uh, pastry shops with all the scraps of older pastries that were left over from the day and uh, they were put together soaked in milk and then these cookies would come out basically as a result. But today we're not gonna use any scraps, we're just gonna make it with simple flour and milk and a few other ingredients and they're super simple and definitely worth the try. So let's get started. By the way, these cookies can also be vegan. In a mesh strainer, I sift the flour and the cocoa powder. Originally in this recipe to make the cookies rice, they would use baker's ammonia, which is not the one that you use to clean up, don't worry. It's just an ammonia made for desserts. But to make things a little bit easier, we're just gonna use good old baking powder, which works basically the same. So I add two teaspoons of baking powder. Sifting the powders really help to avoid clumps. I give it a quick stir and then I add a pinch of salt that will enhance the flavor and some granulated sugar. This cookie dough is not very sugary because we're going to cover the toto in lots of glaze at the end so they will get their sweetness once they're finished. I add some orange zest which gives such a great citrus aroma. If possible, I suggest using organic oranges since we're using the peel. I pour in the milk, either regular or plant-based, vegetable oil, vanilla extract, and a little bit of cinnamon. Stir the mixture until it's nicely incorporated. You can knead the dough with your hands or with a spoon. No resting time necessary, just oil your hands a little bit and start forming the totos. About this size, about 40 grams each, if you want to be more precise. Set them in a pan with parchment paper, and once the oven is preheated at 350 Fahrenheit, bake them for 15 minutes. Do a little toothpick test to make sure that they're perfectly cooked. Now let's prepare the chocolate glaze. Melt some sugar in a pot with water at medium heat. Add two teaspoons of cocoa powder and stir. Once the mixture starts to simmer, let it boil for one minute. Set it aside and let it cool down for literally two minutes. No more than that, otherwise it starts to harden too much. I set some parchment paper down and if you have it, it will be great to use a cookie rack so that the extra glaze can drip off. Dip the toto in with a fork and set them on the rack. Don't worry if you don't have a rack, just set them directly on the parchment paper and then remove the excess once the glaze cools down. The coating in the original cookies is quite thick, so once the first coat hardens, I actually suggest making another batch of glaze to cover them in a second layer. And also, if the coating is too thin, it tends to crumble a little bit too easily. So making a second coat is the way to go. Once the totos harden, then they're ready to be enjoyed. They have a hard shell, but they're soft inside. A quick tip to clean the sugary pan is to simply boil some water in it so that the sugar melts away really quickly and then rinse out the pan. Mm, so good. I'm so in love with these cookies, it's crazy. Every time that my parents come in Canada during Christmas time, I always beg them to bring me a bunch of Toto. But now that I've developed this recipe, I am like, don't worry about it, because I'll make my own and they're so delicious. 
So I really hope you guys are gonna give it a try because it's truly worth it. Let me know in the comments below what you think and leave a thumbs up if you like this video. See you next time. Bye.